Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This lecture will consist in a review of a setup that can be very useful in S Foundation when we are interested in working with PAL foundations. And for this, uh, let's try to define a footing first. Go in here. If I try to define this, you can see there is no piles under the pad. So for activate those piles, I'm going to click here to check pile foundation. And now you can see there's this piles under the pad. And we're going to stick for the soil profile of multi-layer. So I'm going to define it here. And after that, let's try giving a quick review on this foundation. I'm going for soil, and as you can see, there's this different profiles of the soil. If I go to finite element, we can see here there's this pad and the piles. And if we go here to the spring support, you can see there are springs all through the piles, but not springs in the pad. Now let's try to take a look into the soil profiles to define soil profiles. And here, th there's this function I was talking about. There's going to be some cases when you need to check about the lateral, the friction, and the bearing curves. Now you can see there's this information related to the stiffness through the different depths. You can see here there's these different profiles, and there's here divided into 10 points. We can navigate to see these points. And we can also adjust these points if you want. Let's say we need uh, more points. We go for 15, and this is going to be auto calculated. And this works for the B range, the friction, and the lateral. But in case we need a more detailed view or definition of these uh, soil profiles, we can go again to soil profile and deactivate here when it says L to calculate, I have to uncheck this. And if I go again to the different curves, now we can define them whatever we want. Maybe I want to increase this stiffness for 55 and 55. And the curve is going to be updated following what we define. And you can also change this for the friction and the bearing. If you keep the auto calculate checked, then the auto calculations are going to be following the properties here in the soil section. We change maybe here to black fill for any particular reason, just to show you these changes. And again, it's the profile number four. You go to lateral. Now this has changed and the black fill following the auto generate function. Uh, let's get to SM. Let's think on any scenario you have all your, your technical information detail and maybe what it's been here defined is not what you want for your structure. You need something very specific to the soil properties. So you can go again for soil properties and uncheck the auto calculate and fill these tables with that detailed information you have. And it goes for lateral, for friction, or for bearing. But in case you don't have all of this detailed information and also maybe need to work just, for example, with a friction pile foundation, you can go to soil profile and change the spring from non-linear to linear. Now, if I go to the different curves, the stiffness is going to be defined by a single value. And in case of, for example, you don't want to use the bearing curves or the bearing stiffness, you can easily just get rid of it. Or maybe you're not considering the bearing stiffness until the third profile. You can label it like here. Uh, maybe also for lateral, you don't want the stiffness being considered. And the friction is going to be used through all the soil profiles. You can let it like this. 
So it all depends on the available information you have and the level of detail of your analysis. I'm going to stick for nonlinear. I'm going to click OK. And we can see here the soil profile changed from what we have initially. Also, there's something that might be of your interest. You can see here the springs are only defined for the piles. In case you want to add the springs here on the pad, going for define, pads and pile caps, going here for the pile cap and check this box. It says generate pad soil springs. I can click OK. And now it also has this springs that are going to react to the properties we define in the soil. So this process lets you to consider the stiffness of the soil under the pad 2 and more resources to model and analyze your foundations more accurately.